How to create split text in DaVinci Resolve 18.6.6. .6. Inside your Projects Edit window, go to Effects, and underneath Toolbox, select Effects, and go to click and drag a Fusion Composition clip to your timeline. The default duration of 5 seconds for this particular edit can be modified by holding in Control or Command if you're a Mac user, and pressing D to change the duration. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip, and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion Nodes panel, select a Text Plus node from the menu above the Nodes grid. Click on the grey box alongside Text 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow alongside Media Out 1 to make a connection. Ensure that either left or right view is selected underneath Media Out 1 so that you can see a preview of your work as you follow the instructions throughout this tutorial. With Text 1 still selected, go to Inspector and underneath Text, Type in the message that you wish to have displayed on screen in the big text box. In this particular project, I will use Chaparral Pro as the font with a bold weight with the color white and the size set to 0.34. Deselect your text node by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid and go to click and add a polygon tool. Before connecting this to text one, with polygon one selected, go to your preview screen, holding control or command and scroll downwards to zoom out and scroll up slightly so that you can see beyond the top part of your video frame. Hold and shift and press L to select the linear tool. Click outside of your canvas to one side. Here in this example, I will start on the left and I will drag my mouse cursor beyond the opposite side of my canvas and I will drag my mouse cursor upwards slightly as I prepare to create a low diagonal split. Click to create a linear line. Go to click beyond the corners of your canvas and then once again on the initial points that you created with the linear tool to complete your shape. Should you wish to adjust your polygon shape, simply select the insert and modify tool, click on the square points representing your polygon shape and adjust the position of these by dragging your mouse cursor or press delete or backspace to remove. You can also click in the middle of one of your polygon lines to create another point which you can use to adjust the polygon form itself. Click and drag the side square nodes to add curvature to your split shape if you wish. Click on the grey box alongside Polygon 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the Effect Mask arrow alongside Text 1 so that only the text within the frame of this polygon appears. The controls for the Polygon tool under Inspector should display Invert as Unticked and Solid as Ticked in order to make this text filter possible. Select Text 1, hold in Control or Command and press C to copy. Deselect your nodes and hold in Control and press V to paste. We will use this duplicated text tool to create the bottom part of your message. With this duplicated text tool selected, go to add a transform tool. With transform 1 selected, go to click and add a merge tool. The transform tool should be automatically connected to merge 1 via the yellow background arrow, which will be necessary if we want the shadow for our upper text to be displayed over the bottom part of our message. Click on the line between your original text node and media out 1 towards the yellow arrow of Media Out 1 to disconnect. Now connect Text 1 to the green arrow of Merge 1 which represents the foreground. Then connect Merge 1 to Media Out 1. To add the shadow effect now to make the split stand out, select your original text node, hold in Shift and press Space. Use the search box at the bottom of the Select Tool window to find the Drop Shadow tool. Select this and go to click on Add. Go to Inspector. To make the shadows stand out more, I will increment shadow strength from 0.5 to 0.85, keeping the drop angle as 37.5 so that the shadows point towards the bottom right corner. Increasing drop distance will make the shadows stretch further, whilst increasing the blur value will add a feather effect, making it fade. At present, there are only shadows appearing from the characters in the upper polygon section, with shadows missing from certain sections on the bottom part of the text. In order to have a shadow applied across the whole bottom part of the message, reselect the original text node, select Layout in Inspector, and increase the alpha value underneath background from 0 to 1, so that a shadow drops down from the black background that you generate, which should cover the whole message on screen. I will return to the Transform node connected to my duplicated text tool to adjust the horizontal positioning of my lower text section by manipulating the value for center X, here in this case, I will increase this value to 0.505 to 
to shift the bottom part of the text slightly to the right, and to reduce the size to create a basic 3D effect to make the upper part of the message look bigger than the one below, I will decrease the size of the bottom part of the message by decrementing the value of size from 1 to 0 0.99. To remove transparency from the bottom section of your text, select your duplicated text tool. Under Inspector, go to Layout and increment the alpha value from 0 to 1 underneath Background. Return to your Edit window. With the Fusion Composition clip selected, underneath Inspector and Video, you can use the cropping options to customise the shape of your canvas and add a blur effect to your frame by adjusting the softness level. Adjust the size by changing the value for zoom X and Y and adjust the horizontal and vertical positioning of your text box by changing the values for position X and Y respectively. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.